Hey guys, how's it going? So someone asked me, how do you place AdSense ad and Ezoic ad on the same website using Ad Inserter plugin? If you look, for example, on my site, you have two different ad network that are currently being displayed. You have AdSense and newer media. Before I had AdSense and Ezoic. So for example, this is a newer media ad. If you scroll down, this is a newer media ad, newer media ad right here. But then this is an AdSense ad. This is an AdSense ad. This is an AdSense ad. You have two different type of ad network on the same site that I put using a very simple plugin called Ad Inserter. Suppose you're approved by Ezoic and by AdSense at the same time. How do you display both? If you go on your website on the plugin and you search plugin add new and right here you search for add inserter. There are two plugins that you can use to place ads on your site, right? Manually. There's add inserter and there's advanced ad, right? You also have for AdSense like these other, but I don't really use them because these one are the most vetted one. Ad inserter, very simple, but it has a limit on the number of placeholder you can put on your website for free. Install that and activate that. After that, you will go under settings. You will find ad inserter right here. This is the plugin ad inserter. You have all the blocks here. You, you can place up to 16 placeholder or 16 ads right here. Decide as well where you want to put those specific ads that are appearing. How do you place one AdSense ad? Suppose, for example, I want to place an AdSense ad right here at the beginning of my site, right before the first paragraph in my AdSense account under Ad by Unit. You can select display ad in feed ad in article ad or search in search engine. I will always suggest display ad because it's the most passive and it's the most recommended. For that, you click on display ad. For example, you can say, I want that to be horizontal instead of vertical or instead of square. This is how the square ad would appear or horizontal. I want that to be horizontal. I click on create, scroll down, copy code to snippet, click here. If I want to put that, okay. So because I've already used all those blocks to put other ads. So this, these four other blocks are still empty. Suppose I want to use this block actually to put ads on my site. If I click here and I paste that AdSense code that I just copied there, I scroll down here. I want to display that on post under search pages, static pages, category pages, but I don't want to display that on the home page. So you don't select this one and insertion. I want to display that before content or before post, or you can say before paragraph number one. Okay. This is where I actually want to put that. It's the same as if you were selecting before content, save setting, make sure that this is not red. As you can see in all the other ads that are being displayed, nothing is red right here. If you pause that, it means that the ad will not be displayed. Now, what do you have? You have the AdSense ad that is displayed right before paragraph one. And if I wanted to put that after paragraph four or paragraph 10 before paragraph 10 and click on save settings instead of paragraph one. Now, there are also other places where you can put on your site, like, like after the content. So, it will be displayed right after all the content. You can select after post or you can select before the comment or between the comment. There are so many ways that you can like where exactly you want to put ad on your site. It's going to be uh, you, you can use that even after image number. I don't know image number five and even the device. You can show only on for example, desktop or tab, like if you leave that empty, you will show on all the devices. But if you only want to show on tablet, for example, you select there and click on save settings. It will only show on tablet for those, like for that specific ad. 
you can also decide to preview that after you've placed it and this is how it shows like this is a preview of the code this is how it, it would appear it, again if you you can pause that again and go back and refresh your site and that ad right here will disappear you can also go and instead of pausing you can click down here and click on disable and save as well the ad will disappear what i like about this is that it's very very flexible and you have all of this into one dashboard you can put 16 ad right there and that's the limit between uh ad ad inserter and like advanced ad plugin because with advanced ad plugin you can basically put an unlimited amount of ad on your site but the, the reason why i like ad inserter is because like usually you don't want to put too many ads as well on your site and this one allows you to put ads faster from different networks you can put ezoic and adsense you can put newer media and adsense as well suppose you've placed adsense ad right here right and you want to put a Zoic ad again on this one, on this part. What I will do is that I will go under monetization and then display placeholder, new placeholder. And I want to select instead, uh, place an Zoic ad after paragraph in content paragraph two. Do not change these settings. I will just click on save. It will provide me a code to uh, copy I copy that I go back on the ad inserter paste that code right there select as well other pages where I want that to appear and select that I want that to appear after image or after paragraph number I don't know 80 on save settings if my Ezoic account is turned on and everything you've you've already properly set up the ad will appear as well on your site both our network are compatible. And also you'll realize that I have those ads as well on the sidebar. Very simple to put on the sidebar. You don't use ad inserter. Instead, you will go on the appearance widget and on the widget again, WordPress has updated their widget and which actually makes it kind of incompatible with some of your previous settings. So for that, you need to go back on the plugin and click on add new. And there is a plugin called restore classic widget, which will restore the old classic widget settings. So if I click here, I install and I activate that and I go back on the appearance widget now you see I have the old widget used to appear here. And with that, I can also put an AdSense ad or an Ezoic ad on the sidebar. What I will do is that I will come here under Ezoic, for example, click on monetization, display placeholder, and you click on new placeholder. Right here, you will select, for example, sidebar middle here on save, copy that, go back on the widget, on custom HTML, decide where exactly on the sidebar you want to put that Ezoic ad. Suppose I want to put that here. You will just paste the ads, the Ezoic ads right there and click on save. You will realize that here I have an AdSense ad and here I can also place an Ezoic ad. That's how you put different ad network ads on your site, but always make sure they're compatible. Let me just delete Ezoic ad. You will realize that here I have a newer media ad and here I also have another newer media ad and here I have an Ezoic ad. So I have a combination of both ad network on my site. First for proof, I want to make sure that you understand I actually use different ad network on the same site. This, for example, is how much for today I'm making with AdSense. This was how much was made yesterday for ad display on my site. If I go on the newer media dashboard and I refresh, you'll realize that this was what was made yesterday by newer media on my site. So I have both art networks on my site. And some high days with newer media was, for example, $4. 
it fluctuates around like to 190 to three dollars just to show you that i make money with both in newer media i only have about six ad placeholder maximum that i can put and that makes my site not having a lot of ads and their ads are not super intrusive this is one of their ads this is another of their ads this right here is another of their ads that i place here first you can actually put adsense ad like this one adsense ad like here you can also put adsense ad at the bottom you can fill up your site with both adsense ad and newer media ad click on the link down below try as click on the link down below try newer media it's free to apply for both and you can use that in, con in combination with adsense ad to increase your revenue of your site the other plugin that i want to show advanced ad i had in ad inserter and i had advanced ad but i deactivated advanced ad because it's very advanced like the name says but it requires putting every single ad manually while at inserter you have all the box the blocks already in like one dashboard that you can simply click and put script in those blocks in a fast way and actually have them display on your site so i hope that was helpful to you subscriber or any other subscriber on my channel if you think you have if you have other issues related to blogging or i don't know facebook ads leave a comment down below let me know what the issue is i may make a video uh about it if you have time in the meantime there are there are a lot of topics that i cover on my channel from online business building to facebook ad blogging and seo like you can find yourself with basically anything this for example if you scroll down this section talks about what ways to use to make money with your blog this section talks about the different tricks and tips for bloggers this step is about facebook and facebook ads i have so many things that i cover on my blog and so many videos that i hope any of them can be helpful to you and solve your problem until next time take good care of yourself i love you guys peace and don't forget to smash like and subscribe thank you